we've been on this uh, video before, but then I think you've got your here. Your, this is the first time for you. Yeah, this is the first time. Today we are talking about Korean dishes we ate in Korea, especially in Jeju Island, Busan, and the Gome. Uh, three, three different cities that we've been to. Personally, the most impressive thing during trip in Korea was how very good. First one is uh, we ate in Jeju Island. When we landed to Jeju, we took a taxi to my friend's restaurant food we ate. There was the first one is this one. The one on the left is the bowl. It is yeah. pork, either pork or beef. And then this one is the Korean version of salad. My friend actually made uh, so it's not on the menu, but my friend just made it. I remember those were really, really tasty. And we got excellent stuff here. Yes, yes. So in Korean it's called pe. It's the sashimi, it's like Japanese. Korean is called the pet. This was this uh, dumbbella, the flat fish. Far there, this is the octopus. This is their specialty. And yeah, that was mixed up. Yeah, it was all. Yeah. It looks yeah. beautiful there, and then you mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, last episode, Edo mentioned that yeah. in Korea, fishes are served yeah. in a perfect shape, but you have to sort of destroy it yeah. <laughs> by mixing it. And this one was also cold. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So it's, it's, in Korean it's called murbe. So murbe means like mul means water, and pe means uh, raw fish. This is the squid with some spice marinade. And uh, and again, you have to destroy it. So you can yeah. With, with but it was good. There was no leftovers. And oh, I love that. Have a long. It was grilled with butter and it was also one of their specialties. And the shell is beautiful. At some point, still, you, know, you I, too. I brought one home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Me, me too. <laughs> me too, but later in Bhutan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you took it for as a as a souvenir yeah. for your nephew. True, but I still haven't give, given it. Deep <laughs> fried. The shrimps, and I think this was uh, pumpkin. It's called twigim. Twigim means uh, deep fried. So it can be anything. Normally we just call it. So, for example, this uh, shrimps uh, in Korean is called seo. So, seo twigim is like deep fried. Sure. After uh, my friend's place, we went to the south next to the hot springs. Yeah, hot springs. Yes. Yeah. And then there, uh, we paid some money and then they prepared the outdoor grill. The charcoal, everything was prepared. We, we had to buy meat and yes, yes. veggies by yeah, ourselves. Really nice. This was how, how, was, how the meat was cooked in, in the grill. So, this is mushrooms and also we grease and kimchi. Type of mandarin only from Jeju is called halamu. Yeah. I, I remember that I suggested the grill. Have you tasted it? I don't remember. I don't remember. The old days. Yeah. A also, it was first time for me to try it. Yeah. I heard that once you grill it, then uh, it became uh, sweeter. Do you remember what it is? Soup. 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 No, this was the. This was the. This was the shellfish soup. Oh, okay. yeah. It was you know, the oh, shellfish that we found on the. On the rocks yeah. at the shoreline. So they had this, this is like the Jeju Islands uh, traditional food, one of the traditional food that we you know, just collected those uh, <coughs> shellfish and get the flesh out. And just yeah. the day when we arrived. Yeah, Jeju yeah, City. Yeah. This was the taxi driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. buffet. Yes. You need a sort of, you get those food and then you need to know how to mix uh, what kind yeah. of sauce for certain type of dish mm. so you need to kind of com combine those so if you don't know then obviously it doesn't really taste good lots of food <laughs> yeah yeah she was kind of open yeah it's a buffet style you. 
Yeah, Unfortunately, everything was written. This was the after Jeju City, we went one small town, and then we went one restaurant, and uh, we wanted to have this abalone soup. But on the first day, they didn't have abalone, that's why we ordered something else. And I think this is the the sea bass, the green sea bass. So this was the this long shaped fish, long uh, silver fish, which caught in Jeju. And this is also one of the most famous fish from Jeju. And normally it is super expensive. But I think this place was pretty cheap. So yeah. we ordered this one. But these are all the side dishes. They were like, refilled, unlimited. Yeah. This was the, the seaweed plus seaweed. Uh, sea urchin. Sea urchin. Yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah, this yellow, the yellow things. Oh. Yeah. Sea urchin. Yeah. So this, that's why we took the sea urchin seaweed soup instead of the abalone soup. We asked, okay, when abalone comes, and then she, the owner said, she said, okay, it will come tomorrow. So if you guys come tomorrow for last game, then. She, she promised to give us a lot of us uh, free, free dishes. Yeah, she promised. Yeah. yeah. So, so we went. Finally, uh, we got abalone soup. And also at the same time, there was some fish, grilled fish as well. And then she gave this grilled makara for free. Mm -hmm. <coughs> This was amazing, like she knew how to get rid of the bones and yeah. <laughs> so it was like such a show for us. And yeah, finally this was the abalone soup. So there was like, you can see maybe some abalone here and some just kind of crabs. In my impression, she was really surprised actually, to see us. We really came there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, really, you guys really came here? Yeah. And then that's why she was uh, uh, more, uh, she was happier. It was, uh, it was at the beach. Yes. Next to this uh, convenience Art. store. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is not squid. This is smaller than squid. It's called hanchi. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, sort of more, we consider it as a more premium than squid. So it's more expensive. And in, at least in Korea, it is only caught uh, in Jeju, near Jeju Island. So this is also one of the delicacies. Mm -hmm. It was our first meal when we arrived at Busan. There's a lot. Cow bone soup, mm. and I was go I googled it and uh, I found this place as a recommended, yeah. recommended place. Mm. But I think I saw only uh, outsiders. So this is a sort of yeah. touristy place. Yeah. <laughs> but personally, taste was pretty. So in Busan, I found on the street you know, like this baked chestnut, and I think Koreans are the only people. They are somewhat toxic, so if you are eating too much, then you have some problems. The fish. red one is the penis fish, yellow one is sea squirt, black one is sea cucumber. They were alive before, but the lady just cut them to prepare. So they were somewhat moving. This is like, you guys know, restaurant. We, we ordered something and then just dishes came and came to our table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. How did you order it? So I, I guess there was no English no, or anything. Yeah, pictures by pictures. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, yeah. And this one with the cheese one. Mm -hmm. Cheese yeah. and then the cheese with sauce. sauce. And this was the, the big mm -hmm. sharp dish. It is it's good. Yeah. We didn't know what to do, but to how we did it. They were coming, they were actually helping us about mm. what you have to, <laughs> what you have to do. Right? Yeah, this is the, from this point, I didn't need to worry about you guys. Okay, you, yeah. you can you can manage whatever. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm sure like the, the Korean locals, they are really friendly. Yes. Right. Yeah. And uh, we moved to like those. another Dong. city, right? To yeah. Donghae. Donghae is in, uh, in, this province has many mountains. So there are many uh, wildlife. 
Pheasant meat, meat, or food, delicacy, and then famous fish market. We went to this fish market and this, these are offered. This fish market has all, all of them are uh, wild caught. Good side of it, because you can see which one is fresh, which one is not. So mm -hmm. you can pick it. Yeah, yeah. And we bought some, it was something like 8 kilograms of it here. She was catching. I think but, uh, but what we ordered, she was like, okay, that's not enough. Just take yeah. this one, yeah. <laughs> more. That's why she gave us uh, this squid for free. We paid only like, 70 euros. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that's amazing. 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 Like yeah. 10 euros per kilo. Mm -hmm. oh, man. It was <laughs> Besides the seafood, we got those, this sesame leaves mm. and some uh, lettuce. Those were stuff. really good mm. yeah. sesame seeds. So we went back to our accommodation, which was uh, this traditional Korean house, which called Hamok. And then we ate here with some white wine and stuff. And the chicken. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. It we thought the we last meal. Yeah, we thought we were full, but... It's it, almost wrong. It's <laughs> <laughs> chicken here. But then also, this... This was like, I've, I've been always pr proposing to you guys, okay, you guys, because if, if you want to go this uh, some kind of bar or pub, you need to order food. Yeah. <laughs> Which was why you, you guys did, didn't, uh, didn't want to go because like, you guys were full, so ah, no, I don't need more food. But as soon as like you tasted this uh, fried chicken, like... Like personally, it. fried chicken like that or Kentucky fried chicken, I don't like it, but those were really yeah, good. They, they were not just... Uh, skin and bones mm -hmm. or joints. They are just meat. We had like, fried beer and uh, fried chickens. So it was good. We covered all the, the food we ate like Jeju Island, Busan, and Dongye. How was it? Like, was it, was it any kind of last word? Or... I think it was brilliant. You, you really didn't have to. Uh, eat the same dish twice on the trip, and you could always find a new, new yeah. fish. Thanks to you, yeah. <laughs> you, you knew what they're, they're about. Yeah, I think yeah. we yeah. didn't really repeat the same dish. Like, we really. just, uh, like, every time we ate like, different mm -hmm. dishes, and, uh, even though it's the same type of thing, but with a different ingredients. And we didn't get bored with Korean food. No. That's why. If you guys are traveling to Korea, this food is guaranteed. Hopefully, uh, this video was sort of motivating you to go to Korea. And I'm sure we didn't even cover like 10 percent only, less than 10 percent of the of the dishes. If you decide to Korea, then make sure you have enough time, and then make sure you research before so which area and which food you would like to take. Don't be afraid of the small places because they they might be the best. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All local places. Yeah, and then don't worry, even though you you don't know Korean, they will help you. So, anyways, uh, this was uh, it, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye, -bye.